So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Call of the Wild the Angler video. Now I have to say a huge thank you to EW before we start as EW were kind enough to allow me to take part in the early access for this game and this video was recorded during that early access period. So once again just a huge thank you to EW for allowing me to take part in this. Now this video is going to be all about the different info you get for the fish species in the game. Now I'm not going to talk a whole lot during this as there's actually a lot of dialogue lines for when you actually look at the descriptions and information about the various fish species which is actually pretty cool. But here I just wanted to show off the fact that there is actually a true score for the fish. Now you'll see here my diamond rainbow trout which is my first diamond fish in the game and it gives you some info but it, it's the fact that it has a true score which I know was something that people were actually joking about when this game got announced and I thought it was really interesting when I actually found that page to see that the fish do actually have a true score which obviously ju it's, it's just the weight and the length combined basically but it's pretty cool to see you know that there is so much detail with the actual fish that you catch i like that there is that amount of info it just is going to help to add to the replayability because it's like okay i've caught a diamond rainbow trout but maybe i can get a bigger one and then keep trying to get bigger ones and bigger ones and bigger ones so yeah i think that's pretty cool but i'm now going to leave you guys to listen to the various dialogues for the different fish that you can actually take a look at in your handbook like i said i think that this is really really cool that they actually had someone narrate all of this and i was actually pretty surprised when i opened it up to to hear someone reading it off so i will let you guys now just listen to that and i will catch up with you guys a little bit later in the video. The largemouth bass is a freshwater game fish native to the eastern and central United States, southeastern Canada, and northern Mexico. The largemouth bass has an average lifespan of 10 to 16 years and can reach a maximum recorded overall length of 29.5 inches and a maximum unofficial weight of 25 pounds one ounce. Bernard Germain de la Cipede was the first to describe the largemouth bass in 1802, giving it the name Labrus salmoides. The juvenile largemouth bass consumes mostly small bait fish, scuds, water fleas, cope pods, small shrimp, and insects. Adults consume smaller fish, shad, worms, snails, crayfish, frogs, snakes, salamanders, bats, and even small water birds mammals, turtle hatchlings, and alligator hatchlings. Prey items can be as large as 50% of the bass's body length or larger. Largemouth bass are a highly sought after angling fish, boasting a high octane exciting fight, with fish often becoming airborne in an effort to throw the hook. The smallmouth bass is a species of freshwater game fish sought by anglers throughout the temperate zones of North America. The maximum recorded size is approximately 27 inches and 12 pounds. Males tend to range around 2 pounds while females can range from 3 to 6 pounds. They've been seen eating tadpoles, fish, aquatic insects, and crayfish. Smallmouth bass are a highly sought after game fish frequently fished by anglers using conventional spinning and bait casting, as well as fly fishing. The smallmouth bass is potentially the toughest fighting freshwater fish in North America, and is commonly the targeted species in many freshwater fishing tournaments. In addition to wild populations, the smallmouth bass is stocked in cool rivers and lakes throughout Canada and the United States. In shallow streams, it's a wary fish, though usually not to the extent of most trout. According to many, smallmouth typically put up a better, more exciting fight than any other black bass. The bluegill is a species of freshwater fish native to North America and lives in streams, rivers, lakes, and ponds. 
bluegills can grow up to 12 inches long and about four and a half pounds. Fishermen are able to use polarized sunglasses to see through water and find bluegill spawning beds. Bluegill have a rather bold character. Many have no fear of humans. Eating food dropped into the water and a population in Canada's Lake Scugog will even allow themselves to be stroked by human observers. Bluegill are omnivores and will eat anything they can fit in their mouth. They mostly feed on small aquatic insects and fish. If food is scarce, bluegill will also eat aquatic vegetation and algae. And if scarce enough, will even feed on their own eggs or offspring. To capture prey, bluegills use a suction system in which they accelerate water into their mouth. Prey comes in with this water. Only a limited amount of water is able to be suctioned, so the fish must get within 0.7 inches of the prey. The channel catfish is North America's most numerous catfish species. It's the official fish of Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska, and Tennessee. Channel catfish possess very keen senses of smell and taste. At the pits of their nostrils are very sensitive odor-sensing organs, which can detect several amino acids in about one part per hundred million in water. In addition, the channel catfish has taste buds distributed over the surface of its entire body. This combination of exceptional senses of taste and smell allows the channel catfish to find food in dark, stained, or muddy water with relative ease. Channel catfish are omnivores and can be seen to eat snails, clams, crustaceans, snakes, frogs, small fish, insects, aquatic plants, algae, seeds, grains, nuts, and even small birds and small mammals occasionally. The yellow perch is a freshwater fish native to much of North America. The maximum recorded total length is 20 inches, although they are more commonly around 7.5 inches, and the maximum published weight is 4.2 pounds. Yellow perch is often recognized by its dark vertical stripes and gold or yellow body color. Its name is derived from early Greek for perch and Latin for becoming gold. Yellow perch are a popular sport fish prized by both recreational anglers and commercial fishermen for their delicious, mild flavor. The voracious feeding habits of yellow perch make them fairly easy to catch when schools are located, and they're frequently caught by recreational anglers targeting other species. The northern pike is a species of carnivorous fish of the genus Esox. Pike can grow to a relatively large size. The average length is 16 to 22 inches, with maximum recorded lengths of up to 69 inches and published weights of 65 pounds. The northern pike gets its common name from its resemblance to the pole weapon. In Finnish epic poetry, a wise demigod creates a magical string instrument from the jawbone of a giant pike. Pike is generally known as a sporting quarry and is very exciting with aggressive hits and aerial acrobatics. In recent decades, more pike are released back to the water after catching, but they can easily be damaged when handled. Handling those fish with dry hands can easily damage their mucus-covered skin and possibly lead to their deaths from infections. In Finland, catching a pike weighing at least 22 pounds is considered the qualification as a master fisherman. The Kokani salmon is the non-anadromous form of the Sakai salmon. While size range of Kokani is often lake-specific and depends on many factors, in typical populations the Kokani grows to an average size of 9 to 12 inches, with an average weight of 1 pound. Kokani are very sensitive to water temperatures and cannot survive in non-optimal temperatures. 
Because their regular food is so small, the general understanding of angling for kakani is to irritate the fish enough so that it strikes your lure out of anger rather than as a predator. The soger is a freshwater fish that resembles its close relative, the walleye. The typical soger is 11 to 14 ounces in weight. Sogers require warmer summer water temperatures of 68 to 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Their need for warm water is thought to affect the northern and western boundaries of their range. Sogers feed on a variety of invertebrate and small fishes depending on the time of year and size of the soger. The channel catfish is a classic prey of the soger. Sogers are more likely to be found in large rivers with deep pools. They encounter a variety of habitats because of their migratory tendencies. The golden trout, also known as the Californian golden trout, is a species of trout native to California. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department state record golden trout measured 28 inches and weighed 11 and a quarter pounds, caught in Cook Lake, Wyoming in 1948. In their native habitat, adults range from six to 12 inches long. Fish over 12 inches are considered large. Golden trout that have been transplanted to lakes have been recorded up to 11 pounds. The lake trout is a freshwater char living mainly in lakes in northern North America. The lake trout is prized both as a game fish and as a food fish. Lake trout are the largest of the chars. The record weighed almost 102 pounds with a length of 50 inches and 15 to 40 pound fish are not uncommon. The average length is 24 to 36 inches. The largest caught on a rod and reel according to the IGFA was 72 pounds caught in Great Bear Lake in 1995 with a length of 59 inches. The rainbow trout is a trout native to cold water tributaries of the Pacific Ocean in Asia and North America. Adult freshwater stream rainbow trout average between 1 and 5 pounds, while lake-dwelling and anadromous forms may reach 20 pounds. Coloration varies widely based on subspecies, forms, and habitat. Adult fish are distinguished by a broad reddish stripe along the lateral line, from gills to the tail, which is most vivid in breeding males. Rainbow trout are predators with a varied diet and will eat nearly anything they can capture. Rainbow trout, including juvenile steelhead and freshwater, routinely feed on larval pupil and adult forms of aquatic insects. They also eat fish eggs and adult forms of terrestrial insects that fall into the water. Rainbow trout and steelhead are highly regarded game fish. Rainbow trout are a popular target for fly fishers, and several angling methods are used. Many anglers consider the rainbow trout the hardest fighting trout species, as this fish is known for leaping when hooked and putting up a powerful struggle. It's considered one of the top five sport fish in North America and the most important game fish west of the Rocky Mountains. The mountain whitefish is a widely distributed salmonid fish of western North America. It's a fish of mountain streams and lakes, favoring clear cold water and large deep pools of at least three feet. Mountain whitefish are bottom feeders, 
stirring up the substrate with pectoral and tail fins to expose insect larvae and other invertebrates, including snails, crayfish, and amphipods. Their main feeding time is in the evening, but they'll also take drifting prey during the day. The mountain whitefish frequently feeds in the lower strata of streams, but populations may rise to the surface to prey on hatching insects, including mayflies. So I thought that was pretty cool actually having the dialogue there as well as the text on screen that you guys will have been able to read. Now something else I wanted to take a quick look at are the traits for different fish. So all the fish will have different traits that you can take a look at. So here you can see aggressive which means that they normally don't nibble they just strike straight away. Jumper likes jumping out of the water which is always cool to see. And last stand when close to getting caught it fights with renewed vigour. That's a cool one because as soon as you start getting it close it's like it realizes it's about to be caught and then starts pulling away but you can see the traits there along the bottom when you're actually taking a look at the fish and it's really interesting to note what traits different fish have this one has hard fighter which is tries its best to get off the hook so that's one that's really really gonna fight you and that's always fun in this game i really do like it when you get a good fight from a fish and yeah some of the bigger fish as well that i've caught have had really nice actual fighting mechanics so that's been pretty fun now going through to take a look at some different traits we have this one that has bottom lurker which is prefers swimming closer to the bottom now obviously that's going to make sense for certain species of fish and it's going to mean if you see that trait on a fish you're obviously going to have to adjust your setup to try and get your lures a little bit further down so that you can actually attract these guys which again i think is pretty cool to see these different traits on the different fish and it was actually something that i noticed fairly late into this early access period we've only had four days of this early access and i'm still learning and still finding things now here on the catfish you can see a couple of new ones keen senses can sense food from a great distance and will respond well to lures now i haven't caught a catfish yet i'm really looking forward to actually going to try and catch some catfish i think that the catfish are really really cool and of course catfish the various catfish species in the world are notorious for getting quite large and so i wonder how big a diamond catfish in this game is going to be um you know i've seen some pictures of some pretty big channel catfish in real life so i'm hoping for some some big ones in game that are going to put up a good fight and then we also have night owl which means this fish is more active at night which again i think is really really cool um it's going to mean that you're not always wanting to fish in broad daylight you're going to want to try and adapt to that fish's preferred preferred environment preferred times of day so I really like that that's actually a feature in this game. And then on the rainbow trout, we have another new trait, which is easily spooked. Easily spooked gets scared easily by human presence. So that's a really interesting one again, because if you're moving around in a boat, you're probably going to want to go and sit for a while in different areas in order to actually see the rainbow trout because otherwise they're probably just going to get spooked off and of course running along the edge of the water i'd imagine would spook these guys off as well so another really interesting trait but that is going to be it for this video guys i hope this was useful and informative for you guys to actually see i thought that this was something i would probably want to see is the different species what they look like in terms of their models bit of the descriptions their traits and stuff in game so yeah they i think they've done a pretty good job on the fish and i can say that the models that you see in this menu are is just basically what you see in game when you're actually fishing them up out of the water which is something that i think is really cool i think they basically just put the model on some kind of background recorded it and then put it into the into the handbook which i actually really like i, I it, like i said they look like that so you're going to know exactly what you're looking at when it's in the water so yeah i think that's pretty cool but that's going to be it for this video guys thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always and i will see you guys in the next video thank you